Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with the Beretta APX Centurion versus the Palmetto State Armory Dagger. Both compact size striker fire handguns. I consider the Centurion a mid-size. It has a 3.7 inch barrel. The Dagger has a 3.9 inch barrel. And if we look at the slide length, we'll see that it goes just a little bit longer with the Dagger on the right. You may notice that the slide width is quite a bit larger with the Centurion on the left. But overall, both have 15 round magazines and both feel like a compact size handgun. Let's start with the Centurion. When Breda came out with the APX models, it was very unique with the slide serrations or bumps, however you want to call them. But they deserve and have received a very fine reputation throughout the years. And the Centurion... I already mentioned with a 3.7 inch barrel has 15 round mags for full three finger contact. Now, it's a budget gun. You're looking at anywhere 360 on up is what I think this, this goes for on the market. Breda doesn't list it on their website. But 15 round mags, they do give you two mags. And if you go with this, you'll get this hard case. Right, it's got the Beretta logo on there. Two additional grip modules, two mags, a speed loader, lock, paperwork, bore brush, and everything else. It has a very nice grip texturing. I like the module that is installed. Feels very nice. The texturing all throughout. And no finger grooves whatsoever. It does have an ambidextrous slide stop. We'll see that on both sides. And the mag release can be moved over to the right side, making it left-handed friendly. Three dot steel sights and a pick rail right there, a two slot pick rail. The trigger, I'm measuring right around six pounds. And we take a look at that. It has a trigger bar safety, but a very short reset, which is audible. Overall, I find it to be a very nice handgun. I'm happy with it. I've had a couple of the other APX models. I'm sticking with the Centurion because I do like it. It's a midsize, but it doesn't weigh a midsize. It's a bit heavier. 33 and three quarters ounces with 16 rounds. But over here, we've got the Palmetto State Armory Dagger. Now, this has a 3.9 inch barrel. You're looking at an MSRP of $299. It's hard to get it for that. Both of these models now have optic ready and threaded barrel models and all that. So these are basically the bare bones models. But the dagger came out with a hit. A lot of people like the idea of having a Glock-like handgun or a Glock patterned handgun for like 300 bucks. And it's hard to find it, but if you if you can, that is a good deal. It comes with a 15 round PMAG, the, the great draw here, outside of the price, is that it will accept Glock mags, but it does come with a PMAG. Now, the Dagger has an accessory rail, it has a hinge trigger, it does have three dot all steel sights, much like the Centurion. The rear sights have been blacked out, but they are steel. Both also have steel guide rods, which is nice. So it's a budget priced handgun, but it actually offers quite a bit. A flared magwell. And if you go with this, you'll get this cardboard box. And let's see that. There's the PSA logo and foam cutout and some paperwork and things like that. Um, not really a fan of this P mag. I'll go with the Glock mag all day long, but you have to purchase that separately. So out of the case, you're looking at two mags here, one mag here, hard case, soft case, and you're looking at grip modules that are available to fit your hand size. So the Centurion actually offers more, costs a couple bucks more, but that's what you're looking at. 30 and a half ounces right here. So about three ounces lighter loaded with 16 rounds. Let's take a look at that trigger. I will mention that the magazine release is very tight, very tight. I'm hoping that it loosens up so far it hasn't, but the trigger is also a six pound trigger. It's a hinge trigger. That's what we're looking at. A little longer reset, not 
much to notice. Okay, black nitride finish on the slide. Palmel State Armory calls these carry cuts. Not really sure. Seems like they're coming up with another feature. They're really pushing the optic ready threaded barrel models, and those are. 550 and up so if you go to search this you'll see that most of those are more expensive and that's why so both of these have upgraded models as i mentioned they are the bare bones both are pretty nice handguns now i took it to the range i shot them side by side i also shot them individually when i first got them and i have to say both performed very well when I was at the range recently, I shot primarily 115 grain steel case, tool ammo, all right? And they both functioned really well. We're going to disassemble these and take a look at the internals. We'll start with the Centurion. It has that button right there. That has to be pushed in and locked into place. I'm going to use the help of a punch. It is stiff to do that with just my thumb. is a bit difficult, so I'm going to push it in, and that will release the pin from the frame at this point i'm just going to move it downward pull the trigger and off comes the slide from the frame here we have a dual recoil spring all steel guide rod and a 3.7 inch barrel to reassemble same thing in reverse order with the exception of that punch all you have to do is slide that real real quick and it will put that pin back into place. The dagger is a bit easier. Here we'll just disassemble like a Glock, pull the trigger, off comes the slide. Here we have a single recoil spring, all steel guide rod, and a 3.9 inch barrel. Easy, easier disassemble with the dagger. That process has become so common on so many handguns. It started with Glock, I think it started with Glock, and then has been added with so many others. Disassemble can be done with each, a little easier with the dagger. I shot the Centurion a little bit better. I felt a little more comfortable with the Centurion. The dagger is fine, I don't have an issue with it, but one thing I don't care for, outside of that real tight mag re release, is that bump right there. It hits my finger and I don't really care for the positioning of that overall the grip is heavily textured all right it does have a cut out there to rip out the mag this has indentation there to rip out the mag they align very well actually and they they shoot both pretty nice but if i had to choose one this goes about 50 bucks more you know, it, it all depends. It, it's it's really interesting, the pricing these days. But it goes about 50 bucks more, but you get more. You get what I mentioned. Grip modules, mags, hard case, blah, blah, blah. If I had to choose one, I'm going with the Beretta APX Centurion. I think it's a fine pistol. I think that it has a great reputation. I know it does. And this is still, let's just say the jury's still out on it. I, I think it's going to be fine. But it's still a rather new pistol, still hard to find, and they're they're pretty nice. I think that each one, well, shall I say the owners of each one should be happy because it's budget priced, it shoots fine, but overall, I just think the Centurion is a better handgun. Let me know what you think. I'll certainly be interested to hear what you have to say. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.